Hey, you got a unique character here. I got him down in the Colorado mountains. Down a little shop down in the valley. It's a unique character. Not quite sure if he's a Star Wars vintage or if he's just a, a loser. I, your guess is best as mine. But I do know this character is pretty unique. First of all, he's got this rotating helmet with two things attached to his nose on the sides of his mouth. Now, the real thing, I'm sorry, the real cool thing here is that you can take his helmet right off and just pops right off like that. It's amazing. And it's neat because the thing's attached to the back of his neck. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh my goodness. His head is just a round ball. Well, if you look closely, you can see a little eye, a little nose. They call him imagination. You just imagine him, and you can make him whatever you want him. So, yeah, this thing helps protect his head because his head is obviously exposed like this outside. From the elements, of course. It gets windy outside, it gets cold, so he has to wear this headgear to protect him. So it just pops right back on like this. Finally now, moving down to the sides of his arm, you got a little arm that rotates like this. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, that looks like hook. Well, I mind you, it's not a hook, it's a hand. How you doing that, pal? Now, the real amazing thing about this is that it just pops right off like that. So it's got a removable, removable arm. I'm sure they can probably buy replacements. You can see the detail right in there. <laughs> He's got a small bone right there. That's a socket. So in order to fix him, you just put that back down like that. It pops right on like that. His hand moves around like that. He's pretty flexible, pliable, just like the other characters that we've talked about on this channel. Again, on this side, you can also take this arm off. It just pops right off like that. And if you want, you can even take its other arm off. Now it doesn't have any arms. So I can just lay, lay the arm down on there like that. There's a couple hands there. Now we're moving down even closer. Right here. Well, I won't talk much about that part. I'll let you guys figure that out for yourselves. Well, I was in there and down in old Kentucky. Someone told me, oh, there's a lace pop off too. You gotta, you gotta yank it a little bit. <laughs> Sometimes they don't want to pop off. But they're pretty loose, as you can see right there, down there. <laughs> Real flexible. Now I'll turn around. So I'm going to move around now to the back. You see these little lines going across the back of his bottom? Looks like he has some type of jump shoot on or something. <laughs> the letter A. The letter A, oh. Yeah, we've got a letter A right here in the back. Must mean his name's Aaron or something. I don't know. <laughs> a hole. <-er. laughs> I don't know. But anyways, we're gonna put these arms back now. All of them. just pop them right down here like that. It's important to make sure that the right hand's going on the right arm like that. It pops on like that. You don't want to put the arms on the wrong way. You might get a little upset at that. So you put this left arm on there and just pop it down right back like that. Sometimes you gotta press a little force on there, yeah, not like that. All right, it's looking good. So his body can turn around like most characters can. Do play 360. It's got some nice big boots. Got gold plate, gold plate on the boots there. Neat, neat little boots. It's got little spikes at the back of the boots in case it gets attacked by any enemies. 
and just kick them in the back like this. It's a defensive method that he has. Works pretty effectively. So yeah, this was a neat little character that I said I picked up down old Colorado. So I think it's pretty good. Uh, this character, he likes to eat. You know, he's, he's getting a little chunky right there in the midsection. <laughs> in his butt. You know, he's getting a little chunky there, too. You can tell this guy, he's been working out. You know, he's he's got a big, well-built shoulders and body. And uh, if I saw him in the toy store, I would definitely pick this character up. He's, a, he's one of a kind. Especially with his pop-off hood. Yeah, it's like, you know. I think the only thing reason people wouldn't buy him, you know, is he's got an old weird head, you know. Uh, kind of looks like a gobstopper or something, you know. But yeah, uh, it, it is a neat little character, like I say. And, uh, I'm not sure if he's actually from the Star Wars line. It could just be some old type of vintage character that I'm not familiar with. I'm going to have to talk to my friend Budget Jedi, find out what he has to say about him. I don't know. Oh, maybe Laugh It Up Fuzzball has something to say. He seems to be pretty good in this department. So with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, again, if you ever come across this character, highly recommend you check it out. Thanks.